Warning, this video has flashing lights, so please just be aware of that before going on. Hey everyone, welcome back to Nightscaper. Today we're going to be unboxing, setting up, and doing a demo of the Cauldronist. So, I really like this one. Um, well, now I do. If you didn't see that uh, release video uh, that I had, you know I don't really like the face on this thing. And I still don't really like the face on this. Um, but then I saw a video of her motion and I really like this thing. And I saw it at the store today. I was debating between getting her and Emmeline. And it took me like 45 minutes to think about it. So then I'm like, you know what? Culture events is rare enough. I'm going to buy her. Uh, so yeah, here we go. Alright, so this is what it should look like when you first open the box. Uh, the instructions are all kind of taped on, pretty cheap, uh, but that's techie. It's kind of the same thing they did with Darwin Dolly. Um, but yeah, and if yours does not come looking like this, please make sure all the parts are in good condition. And it also doesn't hurt to plug it in and see if it's working. Uh, I think that's super important so yeah let's go on ahead and take everything out so here are all the parts and like i said with darling dolly please make sure you have all the parts because i have been missing parts before and it's horrible so uh i just want to run through these because i have a lot to do today so uh so we have the base uh we have the uh these pulls here this uh little waist bracket thing the cauldron a bunch of wires uh the hand with the bottle the poles more poles uh the moving hand leg frames more support poles fog hose adapter and the body and also um it also helps if you buy both a fog machine and fog juice uh for this animatronic uh i don't know if i had the right one so i'm hoping it works all right so let's begin the setup all right so first you're gonna take your three straight support poles and uh, you're going to match the poles with the corresponding number, or, or sorry, letter. Uh, so, A to A, and put it in until you hear that little click. Uh, I'll let you listen, so you will, uh, you can hear better. Again, A to A. That click right there is what we want to hear. All right, and then... B to D, uh, B to B, sorry. All right, now you wanna take your fancy waist bracket and module and all that and uh, put it on top of the support poles. And again, match all the corresponding uh, letters and snap them in until you hear it click. I'm gonna do this part off screen. All right, so now we're gonna do something a lot like we did with Darwin Dolly's waist bracket. So go ahead and get your uh, leg frames and we're gonna insert them in to the corresponding color. Little hooks and sockets that they hook into. All right, and do the same thing. Red to red, yellow to yellow, blue to blue, green to green. All right, so now you're gonna take your two bent support poles. And again, you're gonna put them to the corresponding letter. All right, now we're gonna come over here and match E to E. And G 
to G. All right, so then you're gonna take the Colgenus's body and you're gonna connect F to F. Now for here, the clevis and cotter pin doesn't really go in. So there's a solution, you're gonna put this in here and it's kind of gonna sit there uh, and that's probably it. All right, so you can take the shirt off of her head, but don't put the shirt all the way down her back yet. So we're gonna slide this pole through her arm. I should, oh, I should've done this the other way. All right, that works. Um, and then we're gonna match H to H and eye to eye. All right, so I just found this out while setting this up. There's these little pin coverings here. Um, I'm not sure what these are for, but just not to scare anyone, the little slots that these little pins go into is right under these. Now do the same thing with the other arm. Fish the arm pull through the sleeve and match eye to eye. All right, so slide this little plastic fog tube up the collagenous' sleeve along with this wire. And uh, once you're done with that, uh, the back of her sleeve should look, the back of her should look something like this. Now, for the hand, it's gonna be the same thing like we did with the arms, and this has been tripping me out quite a lot uh, for this setup. Uh, with that little pin block. Um, so, the little hole that the pin goes to is there, it's just there's something covering it. So, we're gonna put in the pin lock again, and the arm should fall just a little bit onto the leg frame. Alright, so for this I had to slide her sleeve around a little bit, and so just find the Velcro, and put the Velcro over her hand, like that. Just it adds, it just makes her look a little bit more realistic and not fake. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing with the other hand. Uh, put the wire through the sleeve. Uh, let it hang out the back of her shirt. Uh, find the little pin and snap it in. It was a little difficult for uh, me, but I got there. And then uh, cover it up with a book. All right, now connect all the corresponding uh, wires to the corresponding letters. Now you're gonna take uh, the shorter fog hose and connect uh, the corresponding letters R to R. Uh, you're gonna want two hands to slide that up. And just leave this T end out for just a little bit. Um, we're gonna take the other fog hose and uh, untangle it here. Now with the other fog hose, we're gonna attach Q to Q. And then we're gonna take this little plastic looking fog tube and match S to S. This end is thinner, so it goes in here, uh, unlike all the others. All right, now we're gonna take the cauldron and slide it right next to the cauldroness. And we're gonna take the wire labeled P2 and just slide it under her cloak and connect that final wire. I used two. Now on the back of the cauldron, there's this little prong here Label T. We're gonna find the other nozzle of the fog hose label T and connect the two. All right, so move the cauldron even closer to the witch with this center facing out. And now we're gonna uh, slide this cloak over the cauldron. 
and just adjust it, make it look a little bit more realistic, and point the hat upwards. Give it more of that witch look. All right, so then you untangle the cable labeled U, and then you plug in these uh, two cords together. All right, so under the cauldron, this is cloak. Uh, on the control box, there's this little uh, socket here labeled U. And we're going to plug this cable in. Uh, is the wrong way? No, that's the right way. All right. Now that cable is in, uh... We're gonna take this and I'm gonna try to figure out how to get it uh, onto the fog machine. And take the adapter and plug this little end to the jack. Do not plug it in yet unless you don't have a fog machine and you really wanna uh, turn it on right now. Um, so now I gotta figure out how to hook it up the fog machine. There is no escape. Your soul now belongs to me. Okay, I think she's really cool. Um, I don't have the fog. I don't have the fog plugged uh, into her right now because uh, I have the wrong uh, fog machine. But still, really cool. So there she is. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you found it very informational and entertaining. Uh, so, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hmm. Your soul fills the night air, soon to join my part of despair. Add a dash of the smell of death. And up will rise the demon's breath. <laughs>